Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share a really useful research Chrome extension with you. So this is a pretty recent one. Google Scholar now has a Chrome extension. So if you're using the Chrome browser, or if you're like me and you use the Brave browser, Chrome extensions work there as well. This extension is going to do two really handy things. So the first thing that it's going to do is if you are on a page for a research article, you click the extension button and it will give you the Google Scholar reference. So all of the reference information, the abstract, all of the stuff that you would normally get on the Google Scholar page, you'll get in a little pop-up window. The second thing that it will do is if within an article or within a web page, you highlight a reference. So it could be an APA style, just anything out of a reference or a citation section, it will do the same. It will bring up a little pop-up box with the Google Scholar information for that particular reference. So let's take a look at how to add and use this extension. Here we are on the Google Chrome web store.google.com. This is where we go to get our extensions for both Brave and Chrome. I'll link it in the video description. And there will just be a button that says install this extension. Really, really easy to do. We click that, we add it. Once you've installed it, you'll find it in the extension section. Here in the Brave browser, it's this little puzzle piece. In Chrome, if you go up and you'll see there should be a little extensions icon, or if you go through the menu, you can get to extensions that way as well. So when we click on that, we'll see our various different extensions. And with both systems, clicking on the little pin will mean that you get the icon visible all the time. So we can see that I've added that one there. So I get the little Google Scholar icon here. So we can see the little button. And let's take a look how it works. So here I am on a publisher's website. I've got their article. This article happens to be full text, but of course some publishers you will only be getting the abstract and there'll be a paywall. And I think this extension will be even more useful for those ones. And all we need to do is be on this page, hit our button, and we can see that it did the Google Scholar search. There is the reference. There is the usual bits and pieces that we would get under the article in Google Scholar. Down the bottom here, we also have the option to open the result in a new tab and add to our library as well. So really nice and handy to be able to do that just on the page without having to go off to Google Scholar. So that's the first feature. Let's have a look at the second feature. So the second feature, all we need to do is just find a particular citation, highlight it, and then hit the button. We can see with this particular journal, they are very good at giving hyperlinks to the various places anyway. So again, this would probably be more, maybe if you're on a web page, or if someone in an article you're reading has cited something and you want to just be able to bring it up, we just select it, hit the button, and there it is. So this is a really handy little extension. If you are searching for references, doing literature reviews, any kind of research, I would definitely encourage you to add it to your Chrome or Brave browser. Now, I just did a quick search, because no doubt a question on some people's mind, is this on other browsers? Certainly Firefox has a Google Scholar button as an add-on for Firefox as well. For the Mac-only browsers, not sure, sorry, but maybe someone can put a comment down below the video letting us know if they've found other browsers where this is going to work as well. I hope they've found this helpful. I'll be back really soon with more videos on research, AI, stats, and random stuff.